and everything. I'm gonna go and now, now that you said about the health disparities, why is diversity like you keep going back is important with this and why the African American community needs to sign up more for it? The reason this program is seeking over one million people because we need the diverse populations that represents America. Also, this data, which includes the uh, survey data, your genomic data, is going to help researchers target various illnesses. Um, it's going to help their research, advanced research, and it's going to improve the future of medicine. And I think that's very important because when it comes to medicine, it shouldn't, everything shouldn't be like a one size fits all. And that's how it is. See, once we be, you know, can streamline everything based upon precision medicine, say this group may need, say, a different type of treatment uh, that's different from this other group. Right now, it's to the point where, okay, if you have this, you're going to get two pills. You know, so we got to do better. Yes, yes. So any final thoughts you were like, I know we're, they're approaching like five years, but what would you, what more would you like to see as far as the future of this program? Right. Now, one thing I tell people within the community, the future of medicine begins with you. In regards to all of us, if you have questions, go to the website and read for yourself, or you can contact me anytime. And I can answer those questions. Even feel free to email me on my UAB address. And then if you have various events going on within the community, let us know. If I can't attend, we will have someone there. I, I basically um, attend the weekend events, but we want to be all over the place. If we've got to rent a car and go somewhere, we're on the way. Um, I just helped a group in Louisiana. We're trying to get more people there in northern Louisiana. So we're all over. We want to help because, again, the future of medicine begins with us. Yeah, and I will also say from the new year, too, one of my future ideas, I'm about to share it with, um, share it with Wendy, is probably do a live podcast at a community event. That way we can get questions from the community. Yes. Afterwards. The side of it, bring you on, and we can all talk about it. Um, because I feel like the more, like you said, like one thing at the information table I've noticed is that when people come up, it's not just like quick sign up, like the people who's there at the, at the desk are very knowledgeable and mm -hmm. tell you why you're signing up for it and the purpose. But I'm telling you all, look, think of this like a 23 and me, but more of a sophisticated one that's telling you about your health. Because 23 me just tell you about your family lineage. But this, with all of us, tells you about things looking five, ten years down the road, and you got a chance to kind of make a, what they call it, a course correction. Yes. A lot of times in health, when, you know, when people's health get, you know, goes for the worse, it's almost too late. Now you get a chance to kind of make some changes. Mm hmm And early detection is key. Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.